Hi, I'm Annalise and I'm from the Summit School of Ahwatukee. I've been working with Dr. Gerber on the subject plastic pollution as it relates to marine biology. <laughs> Did you know that the earth ocean is one of the main sources for protein and the Earth's life support? What I mean by that is that 50 to 70% of our oxygen comes from our oceans and more than a billion people rely on the ocean for protein. Would you believe me if I told you that nearly 700 species have been affected by plastic pollution? The United States alone produces about 69 billion pounds of plastic waste every year, and one person generates about 206 pounds of plastic waste every year. If we continue to use plastic at this rate, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish in the sea by 2050. For example, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is filled with plastic and trash and is about the size of Alaska. The garbage patch is located between Hawaii and California. I'm sure you've seen the images of sea turtles with plastic around them or plastic bags floating in the ocean but it's a much larger issue than any photo holds. For example, two whales have died in the past month due to plastic pollution. Another is how plastic bags cover up coral reefs, blocking the sunlight and the nutrients the reef requires. If a coral reef dies, it could affect the fish's habitat and the fish's food source. Not only that, but the fish we eat consume microplastic, which is plastic that has been broken down into extremely small pieces. Basically, we could be eating plastic without realizing it. Not only that, but 90% of seabirds contain plastic debris. I'm hoping now you are wondering what you can do to help. First, start small and realize how much plastic you use in your everyday life. For example, shampoo bottles, chick ba chip bags, straws, water bottles, and much more. Take note of how many disposable plastics you use. You could also spend a couple minutes on your city's recyclable website and look at what your city does, it, does and doesn't recycle. I'd like to thank Dr. Gerber for her mentorship during my introduction to the study of marine biology.